Hi, my name is Katherine Owens and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Politics, Economics and International Studies at the University of Hartford in Connecticut in the United States. And I've been studying marine debris uh, for about five years and water policy in general for about 20 years. I come from an interdisciplinary background and I have training in the natural sciences, the social sciences, and in studio art. And so I'm really interested in how we do interdisciplinary research, how we get different fields to collaborate and talk to each other and in that way to make um, their work stronger. So I started my work in marine debris by creating a class for students in Connecticut uh, where I would ask students who are policy students, uh, political science students, to <clears throat> go out and do scientific data collection. And so I taught them very simple techniques that can be used to collect debris on shorelines. And we do this collection on shorelines not with the idea of trying to clean up the world. Sadly, I think um, we can't. <laughs> There's too much plastic being produced. And I also think it's really important that we don't send a message to polluters that they can just keep polluting and well-meaning, hard-working people will come and clean up everything um, that they pollute. So my students um, started by, I taught them scientific methods to, to do a collection in Connecticut um, and very simple scientific methods that just would allow any scientist in the world to look at what we've done and to understand um, how we did it and that it was um, done in a replicable way. So we did our collection and then um, we shared the results with local policymakers. And in our case, that meant making a presentation to state senators in the Connecticut General Assembly to help them understand what we learned. And that's because plastic pollution and marine debris can look very different in, in different communities. In some places, it's very clear from a collection that the debris is coming from commercial or recreational fisheries. In some cases, it might be very clear that it's coming from local manufacturing. In our case, in Connecticut, we found that debris was mostly coming from people. <laughs> and by that, I mean um, probably some people who had visited the beach, but also from local municipal waste. So the kinds of trash that people throw away all the time that for some reason um, isn't making its way uh, to incinerators or to landfills, but instead is making its way to the ocean. So for me, it's really important that we're connecting science and policy. I think scientists tend to work in a bubble and they communicate with each other and they share their results with each other and they fall short of, um, of the big picture if they don't share their results with policymakers, because we need policy uh, to make a difference and to change things in the long term. So that's really sort of my work in a nutshell. I'm interested in scientific methods and then connecting that with policymakers, local stakeholders, people in the community who can then use that information to make change. Thank you.